Hi, thanks for joining me again. What I'm going to look at now is a very quick bottle stopper project and here's one of the bottle stoppers. I'm trying not to rustle it because it makes a horrendous noise that the camera picks up on but uh, it's one of our ball end stoppers. Quick project with this with a Corian top. First of all let's start with the equipment that we're going to need. First of all we're going to need some Corian. Secondly, we're going to need our bottle stopper. Now our bottle stoppers come with a wood insert screw as you can see there. We're actually not going to use that, those are not suitable for going into acrylic or into Corian. We're just going to use the threaded part. And you will see here that not all of our products, but quite a lot of these products that we supply come with a little hex end screw in there. And that will come in handy and I'll explain to you why a little bit later. I'm then using a centre finder drill, a 7mm drill bit, an 8mm threading tool and a Procraft mandrel uh, or any 8mm M8 mandrel um, or you could even make your own out of an M8 screw if you wanted to. So we're going to pop our Corian into the chuck on the lathe and let's see how quick and easy this is to do. For the ease of filming, I'm doing this on the lathe. You could easily do this on a pillar drill and tap by hand. Um, but I'm going to show this, as I said, because of the way the camera set up, I'm going to show it on here. So I've got my Corian set in the lathe chuck and I've got my centre finder drill bit in here. Um, I'm going to have this going at about 500 RPM and just put a little mark in the centre there. That's found the centre at this end. I'm just going to show you the bottle stopper and take a measurement off here. The amount of thread sticking out there is about 11, 12 millimetres. So that's all we need to go through. I'm going to go a little bit further just to give us a little bit of room for manoeuvre um, because that screw will go in and out. Um, so it's not too critical um, on the depth as long as there is at least 11 millimetres or whatever thread is sticking out from the bottle stopper. I've got my 7mm drill bit and I'm going to go in about 15mm. I've zoomed out, if I was cutting this by hand it wouldn't matter but because I'm doing this on the lathe it's really important uh, when you're using the tailstock, if you're using a thread cutter that you don't lock off the tailstock. This must be free to move up and down because what's going to happen is as it's cutting the thread inside the Corian it's actually going to draw the tailstock up into the item itself and it needs to do that at the correct rate you can't guarantee when you're turning it that um, by hand with a, with a rear crank that it's going to go at the right speed so just leave that loose and let the, this part do the work and let this part just follow we will have this going as slow as we possibly can now I'm lucky I've got an um, electronically controlled uh, speed adjuster on here so I'm literally going to turn it off on the speed adjuster and just turn it up to the very point where it starts going that is as slow as it will go and we'll just pop the thread in there I'm ready with the stop button so when I've got to the end of that 15 millimeter hole I've cut I can stop the lathe this one reverses as well I can reverse out um, as I said if you don't have this facility you might find it easier to do by hand Right, we've got to the end of that um, because this started turning. I can now reverse and reverse this off the product. And it'll actually push the tailstock out. And what we should have in there is a nicely cut thread. Uh, I'll zoom in so hopefully you can get a slightly better view. And we'll just take the part off the bottle stopper and there you can see that threads in very nicely. So we've got a mandrel at this end, we've got a blank that we've cut, I think because it's black you won't see the thread in there but you'll soon see when I pop it on there that that screws on quite nice and easily. Um, I'm going to take it up to the end there 
I'll tighten that off and that is very secure and that's now ready for turning and shaping however you want to um, sanding and finishing I'm going to do that now um, I'm going to speed up the process so you don't have the boredom of watching me um, but do watch at the end because I use the acrylic polishing paste and you will see on an item like this just how fast that is So I'm now going to uh, just use, it's not even a new bit, it's 400 grit sandpaper um, just to go roughly over the edge, smooth that, I've turned it and used the dreaded bowl sander on it as I often do. It's a bit lazy but it's very very quick. I'm just going to turn that off and just have a quick look at the end. Um, just going to do a little bit of that by hand. And you can see the shape there. And hopefully, if the camera, I don't know whether the camera will pick that up, it isn't particularly shiny. I'll see if I can get a close up for you. Because what I'm now going to do is use the uh, acrylic polishing paste and hopefully get a nice shine on this. Not too fast um, when you're turning. Um, if, you, if you're using the acrylic paste on acrylic, um, probably about a thousand RPM maximum. Um, Corian is a little bit more heat resistant, so it can go a little bit faster. I think we'll probably try about 1500 on here. I've got probably way too much there, but I'm gonna turn it down, otherwise it's just gonna come flying off. I'm just going to spread some of that across the stopper and turn it up slightly and just a gentle pressure working that. You can see there's the odd bit that comes flying off but not a lot. Hopefully you can see that beginning to have a bit of a shine and you can obviously do this as much as you want. The end is going to take longer than the rest of it because that's moving at a slower speed than the rest of the stopper. Um, we'll just move that down a little bit. A little bit around the end. I've used hardly any. I'm just going to wipe that off. Let's have a look at what, we're, what we've got. That is quite a nice finish on there. The little spots you can see are actually spots in the um, it's the pattern in the Corian that you can see. They're not little dust spots or anything. Um, there's spots in the yellow and spots in the black Corian there. That is pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more. I think you could do with a little bit more polish up this end. Um, but overall, I'm really quite happy with that. And you can hopefully see how fast that was to polish. And there you can see, hopefully, if I can get them on the, in the way of the lens. It's difficult on a white cloth, but there's hardly any on there. Um, but there's still hardly any. There's still enough to polish a whole stopper.
and that I'm quite happy with. As always, here's the finished article. Normally I wouldn't bring this part into the workshop at all. There's no need to. It gets, as this one has, absolutely covered in dust. The only thing you might need is the diameter measurement across the top here and the threaded rod, um, obviously, for fitting. Um, but I hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much for watching. If we can help at all with anything, please do send us an email. And uh, we hope to see you at our next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye now.